The model's indicating maybe a front trying to get close by the latter part of the weekend, but aside from maybe increasing our rain chances, that would be about it. We do have two named storms in the Atlantic Basin. There were there yesterday, Paulette and Renee, and with neither of those a threat to land, we don't really have to focus in on those. This is a little area of investigation, Invest 94, but computer models indicating if we were to see any organization, it would move generally toward the Carolinas as possibly just a rainmaker if we see any kind of further development. And aside from those features, there are going to be a series of waves coming off of Africa, all of which have the potential to develop. One of which the models are indicating may try and move toward the Caribbean, but this is a week from today. So we've got plenty of time to watch it. And I hate even showing models this early out because again, this is at the moment just a cluster of thunderstorms over Africa. So there is still a lot that could happen with it, but com computer models indicating this may be one of the features that we have to watch as we get into the latter half of next week. So still plenty of time to watch it. But again, in the month of September, you usually need to pay a little bit closer attention because this is still the most active month in hurricane season. And we still are not looking at anything threatening us in the next seven days. Our rain chance is running around about 30%. As we get into the weekend, that rain chance may increase a little bit more so, especially as we continue into early next week. All right.